Which unit type do you think is the most popular in downtown Toronto? Studio, one bedroom, one plus den, two bedroom, or three bedroom? Is the most popular unit type for sale also the most popular for rent? Number one, the resale mix. Let's take a look at the actual resale data in downtown Toronto from January 1st to July 31st this year. A total of 3,006 units were sold. Only 151 of them were studios. That's around 5% of the total. What about one bedroom units? Take a guess. 851 units. That's around 5.6 times more than studios. And they made up 28% of the total. One plus 10 units were similar, around 29.5%. There were over a thousand two bedroom units, which represent 33.5% of the total. And three bedroom units made up the remaining 3.7%. You see, one bedroom, one plus 10, and two bedroom, each made up roughly 30% of the sales. And two bedroom was the most popular unit type. These numbers are in line with the actual unit types that were built. Studio units were only built in recent years to bring the end price down. And more three bedroom units were built in recent years because more and more families want to live downtown. So the majority of units that exist in the market are still one bedroom, one plus ten, and two bedroom units. Number two, the rental mix. There were 9,285 units leased in downtown Toronto during the first seven months of this year. 753 studios, that's around 8% of the total. Over 2,500 units for one bedroom, one plus 10, and two bedroom each. Again, they each made up around 30% of the total. For three bedroom units, only 260 units, that's 2.8%. So, the percentage mix for rental is roughly the same as resale. You see, the percentage for studio increased from 5% in resale to over 8% in rental. But the percentage decreased for two bedroom and three bedroom units. Why? Because studios are investor friendly units. So most of them would be used for rental purposes. For two and three bedroom units, that's a larger portion of people buying them for self-use. Number three, the rental yield. I know you like to see actual data. So let's pick a building to be our study case. Let's use Harbor Plaza, the twin towers at the waterfront, directly connected to the Union Station. I'm going to get the sold price of each unit type of a typical size. And for the rent, I'm going to pick the transactions that occurred very recently. So the recent decrease due to COVID is already factored in. Let's start with the studio. Sold at $545,000, rent at $1,700 per month. That's a rental yield of 3.74%. One bedroom sold at $660,000, rent at $2,050 per month, rental yield 3.73%. One plus stand sold at $745,000, rent at $2,300 per month, rental yield 3.7%. Two bedroom sold at $865,000, rent 
at 2,800 per month. Rental yield, 3.88%. Three bedroom sold at $995,000. Rent at 3,325 per month. Rental yield, 4.01%. You see, studio units start at around $550,000 and each unit type up is roughly $100,000 more. The rental yield is pretty much the same across the board, with three bedrooms slightly higher than the others. So, which unit type should you pick? The main deciding factor would be your budget. If you want to invest in prime downtown with less than $600,000, then studio is your only choice. If you can afford any of the unit types, I would recommend the three bedroom because it has the least competition and the best rental yield. If you want more recommendation on which type of unit you should pick, you can schedule a call with me at the link below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell now so you stay on top of the market.